Greetings everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret. And if you've been on the internet in the past year and a half, you have no doubt heard of a game called Cyberpunk 2077. But we're not talking about that game today, nor are we talking about the fallout upon its release. But we are talking a little bit about the build-up to its release. Because even if you have no interest in video games, you probably heard a little bit of the music to hype it up. And just the music in general seemed to be taking over the internet. Which I like. I like retro wave, synth wave, electronic in general. It's my jam. Also, the the memes. The memes were pretty prevalent, and they were pretty darn good. And it didn't take too long for me to snap back to reality. Whoop! There goes gravity. To remember, Cyberstrike, Cyberpunk. Oh my gosh, that's so similar. And then I made a meme. Nerf Cyberstrike here. A really low effort meme that they removed from the subreddit. But nevertheless, my mind was hooked. Cyberstrike was making a comeback. I couldn't believe it. Has Nerf never thought of reviving this kind of line, especially with the popularity of Cyberpunk? They'll dive into so many other categories, but nah, let's leave our spy line alone. There's some really cool blasters in this line. If you haven't heard of the Cyberstrike line, it was in 1996 and 1997 with a total of eight blasters. At least that's what I seem to remember because I was about four years old back then. I've actually talked about one of those blasters on my channel before, and that is the Ratchet Blast. This one in particular was modded by a one Mr. Bobololo and Nerf Omania. I haven't opened it to do anything else to it because it's their mod. The blaster is quite unique. This ratchet action in the back, now I don't know which barrel is primed. It's rebarreled for elites, but it's got this certain aesthetic, and it makes me wish that Nerf would bring back this kind of style of blasters. Sure, this one's missing some extra pieces that it initially came with, but it's just so gimmicky, and I like it, and I hope that they can dive back into this kind of style one day, because it's, it's cool. Note to self, deprime this later. The Ratchet Blast was one of the 1997 releases, including the Armor Shot, the Comlink 2, and the Rototrack. I've never actually owned any of those blasters before, but maybe I'll look into picking them up. Because if you didn't know, these blasters take the vintage Megas, which means that they can kind of work with Ultra Darts, but not, not really. Sometimes the Springers will just barely fart them out, and the vintage Megas are the only ones you can really use out of them without completely rebarreling them. Is there some potential? Maybe. I'd seen more of the 1996 Cyberstrike gear blasters before because they're a bit more iconic to the line, also featured in that one commercial. And on the theme of a joke going a little bit too far, I stumbled upon an eBay listing thanks to one Mr. Bobololo, including all four of the 1996 Cyberstrike blasters. And thus my money disappeared into the internet and I have those blasters with me today. But before we take a quick look at those blasters, here's another joke that went a little too far. This shirt. My good friends over at Silver Fox Industries got this shirt designed for me. It's Cyber Strike 2021 on the front and a little Fox logo on the back. I can't avoid puns, they are my lifeblood, I need them to survive, but we're doing a limited pre-order of these shirts, a few different logo colors and a few different shirt colors. And if you'd like to get one for yourself, Link will be in the description box below. Thank you so much to Silver Fox Industries for partnering with me to get these shirts out to the world. It will be a limited window if you are interested in them. Links in the description box below. Thank you very much if you want to buy one. And with that said, let's take a blast from the past. One of the reasons that I ended up purchasing this lot was because all four original instructions were included, and they're in great condition. On top of that, there were even some vintage Megas included as well, most of them in a color scheme that I don't have, and one orange one on top of that. Now, while it's nice that they were included, some of the darts are okay, and some of them have seen a lot better days. And I don't know if I would use all of these in a game because as soon as I fired them and they hit something, that might be the end for them. Still, some of them are in total working condition. This orange one's kind of cool. I never actually have seen an orange vintage Mega before, so that's neat. And I do like collecting instructions, and I do find it interesting how some of these instructions are super small, and others are like twice the size. Can't tell you why, that's just what they are. Now let's start off with the auto grip. This one is intended to be worn, I think, on your right wrist primarily. It might work on your left, but the functionality may not be perfect. 
it's supposed to fit in your hand like so. So you will have this large tube dangling on the side, and when you prime it, since it is a springer, this will be fully extended as well. Is that practical? Probably not. Also, it folds down, and the way that you activate it is you'd wish you would push this button in, but no, you actually pull, and that's what flips this up. Now, you kind of need to keep your thumb on the other side of the tube, which means that it's never going to be that great, and you still got th this protruding. It's, it sounds so much better than it actually turns out to be. And yes, this is supposed to close as well around your wrist. If you have any size wrist, this will probably be a nightmare for you. Fortunately, I don't have a size wrist. So if I hurt myself, ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh, it's oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, I can't move my hand anymore. You could, I suppose, move it back a notch or two since that's how the, the cadence works. As you can also tell, there are dart slots right here, 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 and here. Just get your darts, you know, loaded here, push them back a little bit so you don't squish them. Pull one out, front load pop it down, I guess, uh, flip, fire. Can I take this off now? I guess this is a pretty long plunger tube, but it's also pretty darn thin, and then you lose a bit after the air travels all the way to this side, so no, it might not be the most optimized system, but it was never pretending to be. So that's the auto grip. It hurts, and I love it. Next up is the most powerful of the four, the strong arm the original Nerf strong arm. I have proof, strong arm blaster. I don't understand, it gives you so much information on how to put on the stickers, and then all the, you know, important instructions here are on this super tiny sheet of paper. I actually had to read this because I didn't understand what they were going for. You've got dart holders on the back. Nice. And then, of course, you have room for two darts in the front. Now what you can do with this front part, as you see it flips, it can be secured back by this little blue latch, but it's only on one side, so this side wants to force its way up, so it's always going to look a little bit off. And then you have this little tab in the front, which will dictate where the airflow will go when you're ready to fire. So right now, it would be firing the left barrel. If I manually turn it to the right, it'll be firing the right barrel. And how you prime it is you pull back on this blue key ring, key, but to fire it, you have to push this forwards. And you can't do that, obviously, when it's like this because this little piece is blocking it from going all the way forward. So you'd flip it out with this other blue piece, making sure that this is far enough back. Now it's extended. Now you push it all the way forward and it fires. Turn to the left, back, forward. Wearing this guy confuses me too because I understand that you put your hand through that way and then you have this to hold, but I don't, what's this for? Do I hold both? It looks like on number five, it says push release button to set launcher for firing. At the same time, the handle flips up into the palm. Hold on to it. Well, I'm, okay, I'm holding on to it. Comfortable this way, still not ideal, but I guess it's not going to destroy your hand. It's the original strong arm and my arm definitely feels stronger. Next up, we have the Defender T3, a more classic design for a Nerf blaster and something that probably looks more like an oversized Night Finder, if I'm being completely honest. The Defender normally comes with a second blaster, so this top part is a secondary blaster that can be removed from the entire unit, and unfortunately that one didn't come with this one, so that is my only disappointment from this because it also meant that that could have come with arrows big sad. But this blaster is still okay. It still fires, it's just not that powerful. You of course got room for two darts up front, and the handle, as I just noticed, I find the handle actually pretty comfortable. Good thing I took the ratchet blast out, because the handles are the exact same. And I never knew that. They make it pretty obvious. I've seen some pretty impressive mods for Defender T3s over the years, so I'd love to crack this one open and maybe give it a little more power, maybe rebarrel it, or not, it's pretty okay to fire vintage stuff as is. Unfortunately, these screws might give me a bit of trouble, but that's a problem for another day. As it stands, a pretty good looking oversized pistol, 
pretty comfortable and a lot of potential. And last but not least, the most identifiable craziness that CyberStrike has to offer. This is the Perceptor, but it's arguably not a blaster as it is an entire exoskeleton. At least that's what I would have thought if I was a child and I got this for the first time. The main blaster is actually pretty simple, and you can detach it from this chest piece with this lock right there. And I only just found that out today, and I feel pretty stupid for having not read the instructions as well as I could. Does this uh, look a little familiar to you? It's just another jolt. Nerf has been making jolts for so long. Oh, so long. This one's not very good and you can probably guess that from the air holes right there too. What a unique little design that powers everything on here. So let's put it back in, lock it back into place and you're good to go. You just pull down as per usual Come on, catch. It's a bit finicky when you're not wearing it apparently. And then to activate it, you'll just hit this little free floating latch. And that will send air all the way up this tube to the wearable barrel. Yes, you'll lose a lot of power that way, but who cares? You have a wearable blaster. Look at this. This fits all heads. You've got this little targeting scope right here and then the CyberStrike logo is holding a mirror. I guess I can just remove that because it's uh, cheap plastic. The shoulder straps, I guess, have some adjustability. If you're me, there is of course one buckle strap and that's really all there is to it. I'll admit I didn't do my best research when it came to looking up the prices of these. So I don't know what something like this would equate to nowadays. I love this. Oh, it's so great. Ah, oh, yes. Someone had to legitimately put this together. I want that job. So it looks like this dart holder that they refer to that goes on the strap wasn't included as well. So, oh no, I'll try to not lose sleep tonight knowing that I don't have this piece. But interestingly enough, if you read the instructions, you'll see that they tell you to use the mirror in case you want to flip the barrel around on your head and shoot people behind you. No one is this advanced. This man is a super soldier and you can't tell me otherwise. That said, here's your proof of concept. It's so silly, it's so hilarious, I love it. Hey, wake up, Hasbro. We got a hobby to burn. I think there's still a lot to love about the CyberStrike line. Is it completely gimmicky and somewhat impractical? I would argue it's super impractical, especially if you can't fit these things on your hands but I love that. Also, I'm small enough that some of these things can still fit on my hand. I am an adult trapped in a child's body. I would love to see them remake things like Cyber Strike Blasters. Maybe it doesn't have to be, you know, fitted to your arm or your head or your chest, but the style's still pretty cool. There's this certain aesthetic that comes with the Cyber Strike line. Again, it's the spy gear. Excuse me, I can't use spy gear. That's a different company. Spy net, spy gear, whatever. Even with these standard vintage megas that come with these blasters, the performance isn't great. That could be because these blasters have stood the test of time, but I can't seem to get more than 50 FPS out of uh, any of these, which isn't inherently bad. It was a different time, but imagine if you could have blasters like these updated to elite standard. That'd be totally passable. How much would they charge for them? I don't freaking know, but there's some appeal here, right? It's not just me. There's gotta be something here that they can expand upon. It's been 15 years, right? Since they last made blasters like these. I challenge you, Hasbro, who is not watching, more Cyber Strike blasters. Lean in heavy to the memes, do it. But if you do find these blasters available on eBay or in thrift stores, then I might recommend picking them up and checking them out. Some of them may have good mod potential and some of them may not be functional when you purchase them. So just keep that in mind, they're a bit old. But if you like the gimmick, if you like the stylings, you think there's something you can do with it or you just want a cool collector's piece to show off, 
I think CyberStrike is the line for you. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this blast from the past on a line that was just a little too soon for me to get into Nerf, but I'm glad that I can find it now in my elderly state of my late 20s. Hope you got a kick out of this and thank you again to Silver Fox Industries for partnering with me to make these CyberStrike 2021 shirts so your memes can no longer be dreams. Once again, available in the description box below for a limited time, so if you're interested, I recommend checking them out as soon as possible. But no hard feelings if you don't want a silly shirt. And I will see you. I will... Okay, this takes a little bit longer to put on. I will see you next time. Bam.